Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to a Rambler episode. I just want to make a short episode today. I, um, I have today off and then I work the rest of the week, so I kind of... I don't really want to have to dedicate my whole day off to editing like a review or something, although I do have some stuff coming. Uh, I just want to talk to you quickly about if the new Doom game. Um, if, if you don't know, uh, Doom 4 technically is coming out in, I believe it's May of this year now, they've announced the release date. And so that's pretty exciting, and the trailers are really exciting for it as well. They're pretty damn awesome. I'll put a link to the most recent campaign trailer in the description. Um, and the, I believe it was from E3 or some sort of conference that Bethesda and it had with Doom on it. They had a pretty sweet, like, tech demo type of deal, uh, on screen. It was really cool looking, anyway. Looks a lot better than Doom 3, at the very least. Um, so yeah, that's been kind of going around, making the rounds, and recently they released cover art for the game, and, oh my goodness. So, I mean, it doesn't look bad, technically. It's nice and high quality and stuff like that, but... It, it bugs the shit out of me, because it's so generic. It's so, so generic. Like, you could replace it, and people have. That's the main, like, thing going around right now, is replacing the Doom name with others, like Halo, like Call of Duty, like Bioshock, like all of these stuff, Battlefield, uh, Battlefront, all this stuff. They're just replacing it with that, and it all fits. All of it fits. Like, even some of the weird ones seem to fit. And it makes me sad, because Doom is a game from back in the day when games were games and AAA publishers, at least at that time, uh, generally had to make good games to sell games. They didn't have these huge marketing, you know, ploys and stuff that they have today, because, well, for one, the internet didn't exist, so we couldn't have stuff like... Uh, you know, live streams and directs and all this kind of shit and trailers online and everything like that. So they had to rely on cover art as well as the game actually being, you know, generally good. Because back then, that gamers were gamers. And if they didn't have internet, they had magazines. So they saw reviews in magazines and, you know, kind of judged it off of that. But anyway, the box art looks like shit. The Doom name, not the guy, but the name, the logo name is like in the most, I don't know, it just looks very flat to me, and it, it, like there's no depth in it at all, it's very much just kind of there on the screen, and it just looks really bad. I mean, the guy is just a dude with armor on with a gun, and the amount of box arts like that in AAA is insane. And if you look at, say, the original Doom, or even Doom 2 to a degree, I guess, but not really. Doom 2 was kind of lame. But the original Doom, at the very least, uh, yeah, there was a dude with a helmet armor on and a gun, but there's stuff going on. He's shooting at demons, he's in hell, there's a guy behind him being like, yo, dude, we have to get the fuck out of here. If you hadn't noticed, we are in hell. So, there's stuff going on, and it's appealing, it's nice looking, it looks good. Like, it doesn't look like, shit, it makes me want to play the game. Because I look at that and I'm like, so you're telling me I could be some dude with a shotgun shooting at demons in hell? You can damn right, sign me the fuck up. And I did, because I love Doom. The original Doom is, like, one of my most favorite games on Super Nintendo. So, I don't understand Bethesda. Did. I know that Bethesda is not the greatest of uh, creative publishers when it comes to cover art. I mean, you know... Skyrim was kind of nice-ish, I guess, with the Dragon logo, but, like, Fallout is generally fairly generic most of the time. But they're usually pretty good with their games. So I'm hoping that generic box art, the more generic it gets from Bethesda, the better the game is actually going to be, because that seems to be how it is. I mean, Fallout 3 is touted as one of the really, like, best games of the modern era, and its box art is the most generic shit I've ever seen. So, hoping it's good. It looks good. Uh, box art looks like garbage, though. Thank God I'm gonna buy it online, and I don't have to have box art. <laughs> Yay for Steam downloads. <laughs> that's it, guys. What do you think of the box art for the new Doom, uh, game? If you wanna search it up, all you have to do is just search up Doom 4 box art on Google. You can find it. I'm not gonna even find it like that. Come on. There, I'll link the Doom gameplay, but find the damn box art yourself. It's not that hard. Uh, the original box art, too, for the original Doom is also very easy to find. Uh, maybe I'll try and find, like, a side-by-side, -side, I don't know. But, yeah. <laughs> the new Doom box art looks like shit. 
and the old Doom box art doesn't. But hopefully the game is actually good. So let me know what you think of Doom, of the trailers and stuff so far. And of course, the shitty ass box art. And other than that, guys, I will see you all next time. Peace.